My first cookbook comes out October 3rd, The Ranch Table. So excited. So The Ranch is on the central coast of California. It is a beautiful part of the world. Um, I feel so lucky to be raised here. We are five minutes away from the beach. Um, so many times we, on really hot days, we will head down to the beach and have a barbecue right on the beach. Now, you can barbecue however you want, wherever you want, around the whole world. But one of the things that we have at the ranch is called a Santa Maria style barbecue. And what it is, is you build a fire um, with usually oak wood because we have oak trees all over the place. And the grill really moves up and down. So if you want a nice hot heat, you move that grill down right next to the heat. And if you want it a little lower heat, you can just move it right up and kind of take it away from the heat. One of my favorite chapters, oh my gosh, I don't know if I could pick a favorite chapter, but one of my favorites, I guess, is um, where around my birthday, the lavender is in full bloom. This is the time to really celebrate that lavender. So I really created this cocktail. I'm a little bit of a, I'm a lover of old things for sure. And old cocktails is some of one of my, is one of my favorite things. And being able to have this bee's knees, but instead of just a bee's knees, we have a lavender bee's knees cocktail in this book. We have honey on the ranch, we have lavender on the ranch, let's put them together. I love working with our beekeeper and I love working with honey, especially in my cooking. I put honey on anything that I can, anything from drizzling honey over my fried chicken, which is one of my favorite recipes. I love that recipe in here. An old recipe that's in this book is by my Tio, my great uncle, and it was, I call it Tio's Beans, and he wrote it on this old typewriter. One of the things that I've also loved about food is that handing down recipes through generations is almost as good, almost as good, as being able to meet those people in different generations. So my boys never got to meet their great uncle, but in a way, they're able to eat the food that he loved to cook. I think that is something that is so meaningful and something that they will always have with them. And I think people who share recipes and who give recipes and hand down recipes through generations is really a gift, a gift that will literally keep on giving. So buy The Ranch Table at a bookstore near you and also check out my show, Ranch to Table, on Max.